as a kid starting out in fishing, I kind of got into that trap of thinking that what would make me a better fisherman was having the kind of the better rod, the better reel. I remember spending kind of Saturday afternoon religiously in the tackle shop looking at the expensive gear in the glass cases that was just way out of my league. I think when I was at a stage where I could afford to get better equipment, it was probably at that time when I began to realise that it actually, it wasn't having a rod for £200 that was going to make the difference. It was really the details that matter in fishing most. And they're details that, that don't really cost any money, the kind of stuff that really you get for free. That kind of knowledge that's kind of passed around anglers on how to tie knots or how to add weight to floats, how to make a leader, all these kind of wealth of information that's out there. But a lot of it, to be honest, has come from other anglers who've said to me, tried this have you thought about this and some people who've seen me struggling with things and taking a bit of pity on me and just giving me some good advice the plummet weight is a really a great example of that um, somebody saw me fishing float fishing and realized that I was kind of my chances of catching something was slim to nothing um, and they just, they gave me a plummet weight and said, you know, try this out, set your float up properly, set the right depth, otherwise you're going to be messing around for you know, the rest of the day, which I was doing, to be honest. just that little bit of insight and, and somebody giving me something which a plummet weight is you know ridiculously I think there's still under a pound um, to buy but that made such a huge difference to the way I was fishing going from randomly setting the length of line below my float to to knowing where the hook was going to be in that one kind of day I, I went from being a kind of lucky idiot who would catch maybe one fish a day to all of a sudden you know catching I don't know, a good bag of fish. The plummet weight I was given, I kept for a long time, to be honest, it's only recently, I mean, years and years that I've, that I've actually lost it. I mean, I, I could go to the tackle shop and buy one. It's probably the cheapest item in there. But for me, making things is a way to kind of deepen, not my understanding of the hobby, but my enjoyment of it. It's kind of to personalize things. But there's also a kind of a sense of enjoyment in, in just making something, even though it's very simple. It's just exploring that process of how it's made. The plummet is basically used when I'm float fishing on kind of ponds or slow moving waters to find the depth of the spot that I want to fish. It's threaded onto the line and the hooks just push through into the cork. Generally I make a guess at the depth and hold the float in position with a couple of small split shots and then I can just swing it out. If the distance between the float and the plummet is too short the whole thing will just sink out of sight. And then it's time to adjust the float by moving the weights. 
If I give it too much, the float will just lean over. So getting it just right can take a few goes. I'm looking really just to sit the hook on the bottom, which is where most of the fish I'm after will hopefully be feeding. And once I've got it right, I can pack the plummet away for next time and replace the small shot with something a little larger to sink the float normally. Then it's down to the business of uh, catching some fish. Fishing with pellets tends to cover most of the fish in the lake, from small skimmers and roach to kind of baby carp, and occasionally some bigger common bream. But just now and again they throw up a surprise like this small jack pike which I managed to land on three pound line. Considering they've got about 700 teeth in that mouth, I think I got off quite lucky with this one. Thanks for watching.